Hello and welcome to Insert Repeating Items into a List. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Hey, let's just jump right in. All right, here's the idea. We have a list of products. In this case, it's just a list of t-shirts. Maybe you're working with different lists. Maybe you have a list of departments, customers, employees, okay? Um, but the idea is we have this list of, of products and then we wanna sort of expand this list. Uh, and we wanna basically take the same sort of set of options and create one new row for each of these options or combinations of options. For example, for these t-shirts, we have sizes, small, medium, and large. So we wanna create three rows for each t-shirt, right? One for each size. And then we also then want to expand that again for each color. So each t-shirt and each size combination should get um, all the colors. Uh, before we had Power Query, how would we have accomplished this? Well, we might have done a lot of manual copy paste, right? We might have went um, small and we might have filled these down a little ways and then we might have typed in our color options, blue, white, black, and red. And then we may have copy and pasted, pasted, and then we might have gone with medium Okay, and then fill this down, and you get the idea. A lot of, lot of manual steps, a lot of copy-paste, and for recurring use workbooks, that's not very uh, efficient, so maybe we set up a macro or something like that. But the good news is with Power Query, it's pretty straightforward. So what we do is we select any cell in the table and go to Data from Table Range, and this loads the table into the Power Query Editor. Um, and at this point, the idea is we wanna create one column for each um, option. So we want a size column, and we want a colors column. And there's different ways to do this, but for, for, for this uh, exercise, we're gonna go with add column custom. Okay, and in the resulting custom column dialog, we're gonna call our new column size and quote, and then we're gonna go with small, medium, large, and we could pick any delimiter. In this case, I used a comma, and we're not gonna include any spaces. And then we click okay. And that's going to create this size column with our values. And then we do again for colors. So I'm going to go with colors, and we're going to go with uh, we're going to go with blue. Let's go black, white, red, and so on. You get the idea. We click OK. Now we've got the list. Now at this point, we're going to split this size column into rows. And the way that we do that is we go to transform split column by delimiter. That's that comma delimiter. So you'd select the delimiter that you used. In this case, we used a comma. We want to split it at each occurrence. And then we click advanced options and we want to split this into rows. We click OK and <laughs> so far so good. This is looking good. All right, and now we go with colors. Basically same steps. Split column by delimiter. Comma is the delimiter at each occurrence into rows. Click OK. Bam. Now we've got it. We've got one new row for every possible combination of size and color. And this looks great. And when we're done, we're going to go to Home, Close and Load 2, and we're going to load this into a table, into a new worksheet. We click OK, and we got it. Okay? We save, close, move on with our life, and life is good. Even next period, right? Next period, let's say there's a new product. Let's call it a, a tank top, okay? Um, do we need to really go through all those steps? No, no, Power Query is designed to automate these kinds of recurring tasks. So now we just right click and refresh. And if it worked, yes, there's our tank top, all different possible combinations of size and color. And what if we have new sizes or color options next period? No problem. We can just double click the query and open it up in Power Query Editor. And then let's go to added custom column. Here is our size, small, medium, large. We can just click this gear icon and we can modify the formula. So now maybe we have, um, let's say we have XL. We click OK and now that's added. Uh, and now we can just close and load. And if it worked, let's see. Yes, there's our XL and it's, it's carried throughout all of the items. So, Pretty easy uh, solution to update every subsequent period, all right? Hey, that was some fun with Power Query. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 